What is going on guys, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today I'm giving away a free Photoshop action package. Alright guys, we finally made it. We reached 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and this is unbelievable to me. As some of you might know, my initial goal was to earn 100 YouTube subscribers within the first year of being uh, on YouTube as Dreadlabs and we hit 10,000 subscribers in the first year. I am absolutely flabbergasted thank you so much for all the continuous support thank you for watching my videos buying the products subscribing as a patreon everything like from the bottom of my heart this is just completely amazing thank you so much but anyway we're here to celebrate so because i reached this number i want to give away a special product that i've been using in my tutorials for a while you might have seen them you might have not seen them but it's something that really makes me work a lot quicker and that is photoshop actions and today i want to demonstrate them so the dreadlabs 10k package will come with five photoshop actions and three displacement maps and these displacement maps are based on the paper textures from the paper pack. So let's just dive into Photoshop and see what each action does. Okay, so we have it loaded up here. Uh, if you don't know how to uh, use the Photoshop actions, if you go to Window, Actions, this window pops up. And if you click here and you click on Load Actions, you should be able to load in the .atn file that is provided in the Dreadlabs web store for free. Okay, so before we demonstrate, all of these actions are made in a 3000 by 3000 uh, document. That means if you are working in another resolution in Photoshop, for example, 1000 by 1000 pixels, your uh, effect might be a little bit different, but no worries. It's all very easily editable. So I suggest if your uh, effect looks weird to just lower some of the pixel numbers that are in the effects that we're gonna run. Onto the effects. So we're gonna start with easy distress here. So if we press play, the text asks us to convert it into a smart object and we have to click yes. And the displacement menu will pop up Let's just click OK with 10 by 10. And I'm just going to click one of these displacement maps. Let me show it to you real quick. Let's go with this one. And as you can see, in just a few seconds, we have easily distressed all of the text here. And if we want to go back and make this a little bit sharper, we can just double click the box blur and change it to one. Or we can turn off the uh, displacement effect or we can even make it a little bit more heavy. Let's just go with 15 by 15. So yeah, that's the easy distress effect. I use this all the time because it just works so quickly and it makes your work look a little bit more realistic. All right, let's go on to the next one. And that is the easy noise overlay. It's just one of those actions that takes just a while if you do it yourself and it just saves a lot of time and it makes you work faster in Photoshop basically. So let me just press play. And you've probably not seen anything yet. And that is because in the easy noise overlay, let's just go with a certain color. Let's make it the Dreadlabs neon green. And if we zoom in a little bit, you might be able to see it better if we turn on like a purple. This will give us an easy noise overlay to work with. And this especially comes in handy when I use my social assets. So in my social assets, I always use a dark gray background like this. And you'll see that it gives a little subtle noise background as well as like graining up the edges of my distressed uh, text. So if we would color this purple, for example, you'll see that it gets really grainy in a matter of seconds, uh, which is really nice. All right, on to the next one, which is a liquid overlay. And let's just press play and see what happens. Bam. So basically this is an effect that gives you a really trippy overlay based on the clouds filter and the liquify filter. If we turn off the gradient map that we just made, you'll see that we actually used a purple and a white. Uh, so let's just run the whole effect again. And you'll see that it's a little bit more contrasty than that. And this gradient map is also just editable if you want to. For example, if you don't like the green in this, you can just change it to blue or you can remove it. It's all up to you. Then we go to something that a lot of people have been asking me and it's here now for free, a one-click Chrome type. All right, so this just happened in one click. I didn't just like fast forward or anything. Um, basically, this applies the Chrome effect that I've been doing on all my uh, Chrome text that I've been doing in the past few months. So this is also completely customizable. If you go to the use saturation panel here, you can just play around with it, 
see which colors you like. Uh, and if you want to do something more specific, you can also just gr grab the reds and only change the reds around uh, and change this chrome type to your liking. All right, so the last one is a little bit uh, harder to explain because it goes through like a lot of phases. But basically, it's a really cool uh, bitmap effect with a halftone uh, edge. Let me just run it for you. This one takes a little while longer. Um, so you probably haven't seen what this effect does now. So let me just create a black background for you guys. And here you can see it. So basically what this does is it converts your uh, file into a bitmap file. It blurs your text up front, then converts it into a halftone bitmap. If we remove the box blur, you can even see it better. Uh, and it basically, basically converts this backup into your normal uh, Photoshop file. But beware of using this because if you want to use this effect, do it in a separate Photoshop file, otherwise it will flatten all of the works that you have done in your Photoshop file. So yeah, be cautious about this. And if you've done it, you can also just press Command C until you're back up where you want it to be. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Again, thank you so much for uh, getting us to 10K. I'm really happy with how the community grew in the last year. Besides that, I'm holding a sale during the week that we hit 10K subscribers. You can get all of your Dreadlabs asset at 30% off. A special thank you to all of my patrons for making me be able to get more videos. If you don't know, if you become a patron, you'll get access to all of the project files in my tutorials, as well as a 15% discount in the Dreadlabs web store uh, permanently, uh, and you'll also get a Dreadlabs Insider Discord role. If you have any questions, please leave them in the video below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.